Okay, so without further ado, uh, let's figure out what feature selection is. It's actually a very, very important technique in uh, machine learning because the power of machine learning is that you can uh, initially enter as input as many predictors as you like in order to predict something. You know, we are talking about supervised learning here. So uh, generally speaking, we will have a large number of X variables. You know, if you're thinking of regression, which is a very simple uh, machine learning model, you would have a lot of X values trying to predict a Y value. But oftentimes you would not know what are the actual X, va X variables that are useful. You, you know, if you, uh, you, you know, in a uh, linear regression, if you include X variables that are useless or redundant or even worse, collinear, you get very bad results. Uh, in the regression. But more sophisticated technique in machine learning, such as random forest, which we use, you know, in, in predict now, we, we are essentially using a boosted uh, decision tree, random forest. Uh, this is less of a problem. Collinearity is less of a problem, but still it would be nice to um, remove variables that are uninformative before you start to train the model. And feature selection is a way to remove these non-informative variables, the non-informative X values in order to do what? In order to, of course, improve the predictive accuracy. So we, you know, if you include non-informative variables, very likely will introduce overfitting and it will decrease your uh, predictive performance out of sample, All right? So we want to apply feature selection to get rid of them, to improve accuracy. But there is another reason why we want to apply uh, feature selection. The second reason is that in the process of selecting feature, we will apply a ranking scheme to the features. And using this ranking scheme, it will allow you to gain intuition about what it is that is affecting the risk and the performance of your trading strategy. That could be actually more important than predictive accuracy because a lot of um, uh, investment managers who, come, who, who are new to machine learning may not trust a black box. You know, so let's say we ask you to buy Apple tomorrow and you would ask why it's so expensive already. Oh, so you know, a lot of people would not trust their uh, driving to the self-driving car for the same reason that they do not trust a uh, black box to make their investment decisions. But feature importance ranking is a way to allow you to benefit from machine learning without entrusting it to a black box. It lifts the veil on machine learning because it will tell you what variables the machine consider important. You may or may not disagree with it, but that's information that you can incorporate in your own strategy. You do not need the machine to tell you how to trade, but the machine can inform you why it think these variables are important. Some variables may be familiar to you, others may be a surprise. So the idea is both to get confirmation and to get new insights into what are the financial variables that are important to determining the profitability of your investment strategy. You might have enough money to buy tons of alternative data, new sentiment, um, credit card transactions uh, and, uh, you know, satellite imaging data that are transformed into, um, you know, categorical features and so on and so forth, weather data, what have you. You might have 500 different variables. No human can understand what are the important variables and what are not. So feature importance ranking will rank them and give you a good intuitive sense of what what are important to you. And maybe some of these variables are the ones that you have overlooked that you might want to incorporate into your base model. 